Do you really know who's watching your every move online? In this video, we'll uncover the uncomfortable truth about how exposed you might be and show you exactly what it takes to disappear from prying eyes. From basic precautions to advanced anonymity techniques, how safe are you really? Let's find out. Level 1. Anonymity Most people think anonymity is hard to achieve, but the first level is relatively straightforward. It won't make you vanish into the digital ether, but then again, most of us aren't trying to hide from government agencies. For those curious, I'll still cover what it takes to become truly invisible later on. Anonymity at this level is about leaving as few traces as possible and scattering those that you do leave. The idea is simple. Make it hard for anyone to figure out who you are or where you've been. There's a common misunderstanding that companies like Google and Facebook are somehow out to track your every move against your will. The reality? They mostly track what you hand over willingly. Photos on Google Cloud, chats in iMessage, profiles on Facebook. None of it happens without your consent, whether you realize it or not. The first step to becoming less visible online is to stop giving away so much personal information. Let's get into the three steps of level one. Create strong passwords. Two, limit the personal information you share with websites. Three, use multiple email addresses. Let's start with passwords. The longer, the better. Aim for 25 characters or more. Yes, it's a bit much, but computers have gotten faster and shorter passwords aren't as secure as they used to be. The challenge, of course, is remembering these long passwords. We've all been tempted to jot them down in a note on our phone, but that's not exactly secure. For even better security, consider using a password manager, something like Dashlane, or if you prefer open source, KeePass. These tools generate and store complex passwords for you, making it much easier to manage your digital life without risking security. Next, be mindful of what personal information you share. When buying something online, your local postal pickup point can be your new home address. And those security questions? Feel free to get creative. No one said you have to answer truthfully. Finally, create multiple email addresses. Have one for shopping, another for work, and so on. This way, if one gets compromised, the rest remains secure. It also keeps your inbox more organized and reduces spam in your personal email. All right, that covers level one. Now let's move on to level two. At this stage, we're focusing on becoming harder to find. We'll discuss VPNs, Tor, and burner phones, but remember to nail down level one before moving on. Without that foundation, level two won't do you much good. A VPN masks your IP address, making it look like you're connecting from somewhere else. Just keep in mind that a VPN isn't magic. You still need to trust your provider. Ideally, choose one with a no-logs policy. VPNs are particularly useful on public Wi-Fi or in countries with heavy internet monitoring, but don't expect them to make you completely anonymous. Tor is a more robust option. It routes your traffic through several servers, making it much harder to trace. However, it's slower and can attract unwanted attention simply because it's associated with anonymity. Still, for those serious about privacy, Tor is a solid choice. Then there are burner phones. If you're trying to keep your phone number from being traced back to you, they're a decent option. Just remember, once you're done, dispose of them properly. And don't forget to use a new prepaid SIM card, not your regular one. That's level two. Onward to the final stage. Level three anonymity. Level three is for those who need to be truly invisible online. Whistleblowers, for example, or individuals in oppressive regimes. Encryption scrambles your data so only someone with the correct key can read it. Whether it's emails via ProtonMail or files stored in an encrypted container like VeraCrypt, encryption is your best friend at this level. For the ultra-cautious, Tails OS offers a completely anonymous computing environment. It runs from a USB stick and leaves no trace on the computer you're using. Plus, it routes all your traffic through Tor by default. When you're done, remove the USB stick and it's like you were never there. Finally, to stay invisible, avoid leaving any online traces. This means no real names, no logging into accounts linked to your identity, and no downloading anything that could be tracked back to you. Regularly clear your browsing history, cookies, and other data. Those are the three levels of anonymity online. How far you go is up to you, but I'd recommend everyone start with level one. It's not that difficult, and it goes a long way in protecting your privacy. If this video was helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions or additional tips, drop them in the comments. I'm always interested in hearing what others have to say. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.